A brief cool down before we leap into the end of the weekend weekend. Our temperatures really aren't going to budge all that much. It's looking like the weekend may be a little bit damp at times and noticeably more humid. So while we'll have some showers around, not a washout for the Amelia Concorde Elegance in Amelia Island or the Gate River Run uh, or any of the other big signature events happening throughout the metro area this weekend. Our full spotlight menu on the weekend is at WOKB.com. The Savannah Bananas have the three sold out games at uh, the baseball grounds, one to one Financial Ballpark. But keep an eye to the sky and here on the radio, we'll update the first alert forecast. Speaking of the jumbo shrimp, uh, we'll have the owner and CEO Ken Babby in studio at about 9.30 to unpack more of the stadium renovations, that huge 30 plus million dollar investment that will bring all sorts of fan enhancements and the biggest uh, renovation to the ballpark since uh, 2003. Uh, what else lies ahead this season and beyond for the jumbo shrimp uh, as they have seen tremendous success in recent years? We'll unpack all of that for you. Uh, the Jug Saloon, iconic on the west side as it uh, was made famous thanks to Leonard Skinner and Gimme Three Steps, uh, nearly was torched by a regular customer, evidently, who had doused the place in gasoline, caught on video, thankfully a good Samaritan stopping him before he was able to light it on fire. We're learning more about his background and the charges he may be facing, and we have that video and photo coverage as team coverage continues at WOKB.com. AAA is saying the spring break is off to a red-hot start already, and we could be in for a record-breaking travel season throughout the state of Florida this 2024 year. It's an election year. President Biden travels to the southern border. Uh, also, former President Trump, hundreds of miles away, but the two will hold kind of dueling events on immigration and the border issue, and we'll continue to follow that story as it progresses through the day. Looks like a short-term deal to stave off. A partial government shutdown is in place. We'll see if the House may be able to muscle it through today and ultimately into the Senate as well. Now that Mitch McConnell has announced that he will not seek re-election as Senate GOP leader, leader uh, for an 18th year, already a record. Uh, obviously, jockeying for position is underway. Florida governor and uh, former governor and Senator Rick Scott, who made a run at McConnell's post and lost last uh, 2022, actually, uh, might potentially make another run, though he didn't necessarily show his cards in uh, his announcement uh, reacting to McConnell's decision. We'll certainly be plugged into that. Super Tuesday next week. A lot to bring your way. Be listening to Jacksonville's Morning News. We're live and local every weekday morning until 10 10 a.m. on 104.5 WOKV, streaming on all devices, say play WOKV radio. You can always get our breaking news, traffic, and severe weather alerts, and listen live in the free WOKV app.